You may have seen the media articles claiming micro-animals called tardigrades are colonizing the moon. But like a lot of science clickbait, the truth isn't this sensational. An Israeli spacecraft crashed on the moon in April after its main engine failed. A goal of the mission was to transport a massive library of human civilization, human DNA, and dehydrated tardigrades to the lunar surface. The purpose of this was to keep a backup of planet Earth in case anything catastrophic happens to our planet. These are called ARC libraries. Besides the moon, there's also a library on Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster that is orbiting the sun. Future plans call for libraries to be placed on Mars and in various orbital locations known as Lagrange points throughout the solar system. On the recent moon mission, dehydrated tardigrades stuck on tape were taken. Tardigrades are a peculiar creature that can go into a state of suspended animation when dried out. Once reintroduced to water, they reanimate. They've survived in Antarctica, volcanoes, the deep ocean, and even spent limited time in the vacuum of space. Because of their resilience, scientists working on the mission think the creatures survived their crash landing on the moon. But for now, they're just sitting there on the surface, still in suspended animation. Without water, they won't be able to come back to life or reproduce. Even if the crash conveniently opened the container housing the tardigrades, they didn't land anywhere near the moon's poles, where trace amounts of water is thought to be more plentiful. The more interesting aspect of this story is that the Ark Library probably survived too. Its creators say it could give a future civilization the ability to restore life on Earth. Best case scenario is that the little library is fully intact, sitting on a nice sandy hillside on the moon for a billion years. In the distant future, it might be recovered by our descendants or by a future form of intelligent life. From the DNA and the cells we included, you could clone us and regenerate the human race and other plants and animals. This one is a case where the truth is even more interesting than the clickbait. What do you think? Is it a good idea to seed the solar system with a record of life on Earth? Let us know in the comments.